Hello, and welcome to the daily number workout for fifth grade. Today, the number is 60. We've had 60 days out of our hundred of daily number workouts. So let's get started with our word form. So today is 60, S-I-X-T-Y. And because it ends in a zero, this number is even. So let's dive into our factors. So we know one times 60 is 60. Since it's an even number, two goes in. Two times 30 is 60. And because 30 and 60, this three and the six always tells us three will go in as well. Three goes in 20 times. And then because 20 goes in, four goes in, four times 15. And then we know five goes in because five goes into every number that ends in zero or five. So five goes in, five times what is 60? Well, that would be 12. And of course, six goes in 10 times. Woo, that's a lot of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, 10, 12, 15, 20, 30, 60. All those are multiple or factors of 60. Woo, that's a lot. Let's see, how many do we have? One, oh, we have six. Yep, six. We have 12 factors, 12, that's a lot. All right, big crazy number. Let's get on with it. So multiples of 60. So we know one times 60 is 60. Two sixes is 12. So that would be two times six is 12 with a zero. Three times six is 18 with a zero because we're 60, not just six. Six times four is 24 with a zero. Six times five is 30 with a zero. Six times six is 36 with a zero. Six times seven is 42 with a zero. Six times eight is 48 with a zero. Six times nine is 54 with a zero. And of course, six times 10 is 60 with a zero. So there we have our factors of 60. We did them quick and fast. I, all I did was multiply the front end and add a zero. Let's move on to our next category, which is fractions, decimals, percents, and ratios. So let's move these up a little bit because we've got a lot going on today with 12 factors. That's six factor pairs out of control. All right, so we have 60 over 100. And if we look up here at our factors, 60 does not go into 100 evenly. 30 doesn't, but 20 does. So we're gonna divide by 20, the top number, and the bottom number, we want to divide by the greatest common factor, which is 20. And we'll get our lowest term fraction. So 20 goes into 60 according to our chart here three times. And then 20 goes into 105 times. So our lowest term fraction is three fifths. Let's write there, lowest term. All right. And of course, our decimal, we go back to here, which is zero and 60 hundredths, which is 60%. So if they're having a sale, 60% off, you get 60 cents off of every dollar. And then our ratios are 60 colon 100 or 60 to 100. There we go. Let's write these out in words. Let me uh, get some of my cards off of here so that they don't fall off the end of the table. Boom, boom, boom. Just gonna, oh, I'll leave those for a second. 
All right, so here we go. Our dollars, remember, are written just like our decimal, except with a dollar sign. Make sure you have that dollar sign when it's due. All right, now I still have to write the um, words here. So this one would be 60 hundredths. Uh, the decimal would be zero and 60 hundredths. Make sure you have that THS. And then the money would be zero dollars and 60 cents. All right, looking good. Let's move on to area and perimeter. Move my paper up, it's got caught. Oh, oh, okay, there we go. Area and perimeter. Now, because we have so many factor pairs, we're gonna be short and sweet. We're gonna do the first one of each, all right? So we're gonna be just very, very slim pickings here so that we don't take up your whole day at school. So our first area, we're gonna draw a box here, is a 60 by one. So area equals 60 times one, which equals 60 square units. And our perimeter then would be 60 plus one plus 60 plus one equals 122 units. All right. Let's go on to the next one, a two by 30. So it's be 30 across and two tall. So 30 by two area equals 30 times two, which equals 60 square units. The perimeter would be 30 plus two plus 30 plus two equals, this is 64 units. All right, our next one would be a 20 by three. Just gonna do 20 by three here. Area equals 20 by three, which equals 60 square units. Our perimeter would be a 20 plus three plus 20 plus three, which equals 46 units. Then our next one would be four by 15. So we have 15 by four. So 15 by four area equals 15 times four, which equals 60 square units. The perimeter would then be 15 plus four plus 15 plus four equals 38 units. All right, the next one, we have is a five by 12. So we'll just do five by, or 12 by five. <laughs> Let's do 12 by 12 by five. So this equals 12 by five equals 60 square units. And that would be 12 plus five plus 12 plus five equals so two twelves is 24 and then two fives is 10. So that would be 34 units, very similar to the last one. And then we have, uh, that was the 12 by five. Then we have a 10 by six and I'm going to put it right here. 10 by six. So 10 by six, I'm just doing one of each because we would be here all day if we did everything for all of these. So this would be a 10 plus six plus 10 plus six. So that's 20, 32 units. All right. So there's our area and perimeter for the six different factor pairs. Let's move on to volume. Remember, we're trying to cut it back. So we're going to do one of each just because there's so much. So we're just gonna copy these down, but give them depth. So we have a 60 by one by one. And we're just drawing it and representing it 60 by one by one. So up here, we're going to, um, I'm gonna go ahead and put it right here. So volume equals 60 
by one by one, which equals 60 cubic units. All right, the next one would have been a 30, 30 by two by one. All of them are gonna be one tall. So we have 30 by two by one. So that volume looks like this, 30 by two by one. So that's 30 wide by two deep by one tall is 60 cubic units. All right, the next one is a 20 by three by one. All these are gonna look close to the same, 20 by three by one. So that would look like this, 20 wide by three deep by one tall equals 60 cubic units. The next one is 15 by four by one. 15 by four by one. And that equals, again, 60. They're all 60 because we're using the same cubes. All right, and then the next one would be a 12 by five by one. Remember, we're just doing one of each because all of these would have, um, except for this one, this would have three different ways to do it, but the rest of them would have six different ways to write them. And that would take us a long time. So this would be a 12 by four by one. Oh no, by five, silly me. 12 by five by one cubic units. All right. And then our next one, see, I'm just taking it from up here. Our next one would be a 10 by six by one. And again, each one of these could be written in six different ways each. And then this one up here can be written three ways each. So that's all we're doing for today. If you have more and your teacher wants to go over all of those, um, have at it, have fun, have a great day.